All right, welcome to the first video in the series on making EDM music in Reason. I guess I don't need to say EDM music, that's what the M stands for, but let's get started. In this first video, what we're gonna cover is how to make the beat and how to lay in a bass line in Reason for your EDM track. So it's gonna be pretty straightforward. What we're gonna do is just go over the basics of a four on the floor beat, add a snare, get all that going, and then come up with a nice bouncy, groovy, baseline that is going to make people want to dance. If you are interested in digging into more about Reason, learning about all the great sounds and tools and all of this, I've got a free Reason cheat sheet that you can download. I'll put the link down there, go pick it up, and let's watch the intro. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to create a drum machine. This is where the drum sound is going to come from got a whole lot of choices in Reason, but I think we'll go with the Rhythmic Drum Machine. And to lay out the pattern for the drum beat, there's a bunch of different sequencers you can use, but I think for my money, the most straightforward one is this Reason Drum Sequencer. It's got everything laid out really well. Um, and now let's audition the actual sounds of the drum machine just to hear what the kick in the snare. That sounds pretty good, but let's browse through some of the other patches first. Um, chill Pollens. Ah, that's definitely the Chill Pollens signature snare. I love a spoonerism. Deep House Kit, that might be where we... No, I don't think that's what I'm feeling right now. What about EDM Kit? Um... That could be it. And electronica. You can also change any of these individual patches if you don't like them. For example, um, like that Tom I'm not in love with, so I can go to Tom's. I've selected the channel, and now I'm just clicking on this part. And so let's see about a Tom 808 hide. Yeah, OK. So now let's start programming the beat. We've drug, dragged the drum sequencer to be right above the rhythmic, and so now there's already a drum four on the floor pattern laid in, which is great, which is exactly what we want. And we're done! <laughs> no, just joking. Um, so we obviously have the drum pattern. Now what we're going to want to do is lay in the snare, and on the two and the four is usually a good spot. That might be too busy, though. But let's just, you know, I think on the two is probably where we'll go, on the four. This is pretty much EDM 101. Um, one thing I do want to do, though, is to change the velocities and make this second one just a little bit louder so that it has a little more groove to it. And similarly, what we're going to do is we're going to take down the kick on the two and four so the snare can have a little more power. Now let's listen to what that sounds like. It's just a little more groovy that way. Now we've got our closed hi-hat. And this is something that's going to evolve over the course of the song, but right now we're just going to create one pattern and then we'll create a second one. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. But right now it's just going to be every four, or every uh, eighth note, I guess. And to add a little more groove, what we're going to do is we're going to lower the volume of every other snare hit, and now there'll be a little more rhythm to it. And we can even be more extreme than that if we want. And we can have an open hit, actually. Let's take this last one away and put an open hi-hat, which will kind of pop things off. And so now you can already start to feel this groove is really locked in. We probably don't, we're going to turn down that open hi-hat just a little bit. So it's not as overwhelming. All right. Oh, 
And so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer a clap with the snare. This is a really common technique in EDM and it makes for a serious groove. Now, the first thing I wanna check out is just what it sounds like on every other hit so that we're doing a little more emphasis and then maybe we'll do it on both. And on the other one. Yeah, I think that adds just a little more variety. And what I wanna do now, this is a really cool feature in the drum sequencer is if you click on slide, you can make it so that they don't line up perfectly on time. So this way the uh, clap will come a little before the snare and it'll just make it fat, a little fatter. Cool. So there we go, we have our basic drum pattern. Um, and I'm going to take the clap and I am going to pan it just a little to the right to create a little more room um, when they hit. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this pattern and we'll make our chorus pattern as well. Let's go to copy paste right here on this menu and we'll hit C to copy the entire thing. Go to pattern two and paste and now we've got the same pattern but what I want to do is make this a busier one for the chorus. So one of the easiest ways to do this is to just lay in a lot of hi-hat. Uh, and now we want to redo. Unfortunately, we're going to need to redraw the velocity. So that there's a little more variety. And what we're also probably going to do is we'll add the clap to both of these snare hits. And we'll add a few more of the open hi-hats. And now let's hear. And okay, so maybe we'll add one of these on the downbeat. Okay, cool. Just a little percussion for some interest. And there we have it. We have two parts of the drum beat. We can add more complexity once we start arranging the song in a future video. But this is enough for now. We can start laying down the bass. So for the bass, I'm going to go with one of my other favorite instruments in Reason, and that is the monotone bass synthesizer. And for this, what we're going to do uh, is we'll just stick onto the grid. That's a, with a lot of EDM, that's just what you're going to want to do. And so we can use either <clears throat> the um, matrix, and why not use the matrix? So we'll turn off. So let's clear out this pattern. And this is basically just a keyboard here. And uh, the notes trigger when you have a, a velocity information drawn in. And then you can change the notes by changing the notes. So, um, so I'm gonna go for more of a clave type thing. Um, and I'm sort of trying to think of what I want the, I try and think when I'm using the matrix, I try and get the rhythm first and then the notes. for that.
uh, base groove there. It's uh, C and A. Um, so we'll keep that in mind for the next video when we make uh, you know, the chords and all of that fun stuff. And so a few things. I don't know if this is the right bass sound. So what we're going to do is we'll spend just a minute or two tweaking it. And we'll also uh, side chain it. And then we'll be good to go. And maybe we'll try with shuffle on, but I don't think we want to shuffle. No. So the things I don't like about it, I think maybe we want to try a little portamento. That's a good sound for the bass for this. Um, let's add a quick side chain, and then we'll be done with this video, and I'll be able to watch the next video on adding chords and probably a melody. So one of the cool things about um, Rhythmic is it has separate outs, and so we're going to go and create a uh, compressor on the bass. And we're gonna put a side chain into it. So to make that happen, we will use the. Uh, I think we'll have to create a. Ah, no, misclick. Sorry. Uh, we're going to create a spider audio merger. I'm probably gonna have to create a mix channel for this bass or for the kick drum. So what I'm doing right now is I'm routing the kick output to this instrument here and we'll for organization's sake we'll actually put it on the uh, inside the drum track um, and so one thing we're going to need to do is create a uh, a mixer channel now for the kick drum because it's not coming through the main mix channel anymore we broke it out so we're gonna create a mix channel and send one copy of the spider to the mix channel so now this we can call kick and if we hit play and another going and you hear how it's pumping like that that's because of the side chain compression as the song goes on, you'll see how much more this is going to add to it. Let's turn it off. I hope you really enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can watch the next video in this series, Making an EDM Beat in Reason. Thanks.